What's going on guys? It's Kevin here with Mod My Mods and another tech review for you. And today we've got another great product from AlphaCool. And this particular one is called the AlphaCool EyesWolf GPX Pro. And what it's supposed to be is a all-in-one graphics card cooler, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, now there's a couple graphics card coolers already out there, standalone systems that other companies make. Um, but the neat part about this particular one is that it works with all of your other Eyes family products. So if you have something like an, an Eyes Bear, it will tie right into the system right out of the box. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to take this brandy dandy GTX 1080 right out of the box. We're going to run it on air for a little bit, see what our uh, idle temperatures and our low temperatures are just with the stock cooler. And then we're going to take it apart, put the Eyes Wolf on it, run that and see what we get for a result. So I just got the video card all set and good to go. Just updated the drivers. That should be good to go. Going to be two and two different uh, benchmark utilities today. The first one's going to be uh, Cinema 4D. Uh, they have uh, their own version. It's called uh, Cinebench. And then the second one is going to be 3D Mark, which most of you are familiar with. Um, just to give a little bit of variety when it comes to the two different programs, just so you're not just you know deciding between one or the other. Um, but I'll be providing statistics for both that uh, during the air-cooled and the water-cooled version. So let me just finish up a couple things and we'll be all set and ready to roll. Now that I have a good base set of numbers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 1080 apart and I'm going to put it together with the Eyes Wolf, the water block, the all-in-one system. Um, the first test that I'm going to do is going to be just its own thing, uh, its own standalone system. And then the second test that I'll do is I'll tie it in line with the Eyes Bear that we have here and see what the numbers say. Okay, now I should be good to go. Uh, what I got to do is mount the fans on here. Uh, I will mount the uh, graphics card where it needs to go and uh, we will go from there. So we installed the Eyes Wolf onto the 1080 and that's all set and good to go. This is a, pretty much a standalone system and just a test as the Eyes Wolf comes out of the box. And we're going to run the same two projects that we did before, uh, the Cinebench and then we'll also do uh, 3D Mark as well. So when I put this in originally, I didn't necessarily think about how long the uh, hoses were on the original. Um, so what I have to do is um, move it to the other side because the uh, original hose length isn't necessarily the longest. Um, so all I'm doing is just going to take this rad and flip it over to the other side. There should be no difference in performance or anything like that but it'll allow me to uh, hook up both uh, the Eyes Wolf and the Eyes Bear together. Oh, this you crazy mother...
So I thoroughly enjoy the Alpha Cool Eyes Wolf. I think it is a pretty slick little system. For 160 bucks, you get a radiator, fans, the water block, pump, and it's already filled up with liquid. So, I mean, for $160, again, that's that's pretty much the best money your dollar can buy you. Um, you're not gonna find like a, a water block in a whole system for, you, you just can't. You pretty much can't build a system for $160 uh, with everything that's included in this. On top of that, you can, Add this in line with your eyes bear, your eyes wand, whatever other Alpha Cool Eyes family products that you want to, um, which increases the expandability. I think that's another great, great positive thing for this uh, product. Um, we do have these in stock, and they're for the 1080 and the 1070 reference design. Um, so pretty much anything that's a EVGA super clock probably will be fine, or uh, NVIDIA, anything NVIDIA that came straight out of the box is fine. Um, but we have a list on the website in, you know, the description box of the Eyes Wolf that you can compare and make sure that it is the correct one for your card. So if you enjoyed this video and you want more from us, uh, more performance reviews, tech reviews, see what the heck Joe's doing with his uh, Lake Effect build, uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and tweet us at modmymods.com. And stay tuned, because we'll be coming back with more.